basically, um, in this last couple of days, I've been um, observing online, there is this um, contestation between some of the um, uh, Muslim community who are against um, the idea of having guide dogs um, in um, eateries. And MUIS, uh, yes. which is the Islamic Religious Council, has yes. given a clear advisory that it is all right um, for the guide dogs to be uh, there. Um, and I'm wondering, I mean, this is like a slightly smaller issue, but there's also the bigger issue of the pink dot versus the wear white. And um, has the community engagement program been effective? And are we actually talking to the um, right audience, not just the converted? Thank you. Okay. I think there are two parts to this again. One is about engaging the community for the purpose of uh, fostering racial and religious harmony. And that's what uh, MHA is doing to make sure that uh, this, this relationship we have, that we have built over the 50 years, we continue to preserve it, uh, cherish it, and uh, protect it. Uh, but what you're talking about is slightly different. That one is about the Muslim community themselves who need to reconcile some of these changes that's happening around them, around the world, and, and just close to them sometimes. And how do they reconcile that with their religious beliefs and their religious practices? Uh, we we sometimes, as Muslims, we don't understand or we don't know that even Islam is not monolithic. It is not just one view of, of things. Indeed, many of us may have finished reading the Quran but don't, have, don't really understand what's in the Quran. And, uh, and therefore, I don't, I, I'm not surprised that even non-Muslims don't understand Islam because Muslims themselves don't have a comprehensive view of what they are. Because once you have that, you are a bit, you are more open-minded about not just about your religion but also about other people because Islam as you really understand it, it's a religion of peace, coexistence, and respect for others. Indeed, one of the things in the Quran says, if not for you, the churches, the mosques, and the synagogues will be burned down. What does it say? It means you're supposed to protect it. And here we are, we see instances in some countries where they are actually burning down churches, preventing it from being, being built. What's gone wrong with us? Yeah. And then this is something we have to reconcile within ourselves. And I'm glad that uh, MUIS and the Muslim Society for the last uh, 50 years uh, have been building capacity with our ustas, with our, our religious leaders, who have also not only just, uh, uh, just take, get knowledge or, or credentials from Azhar, for example, but are also beginning to go to other universities like Oxford, Southampton, to learn about other people and to learn to, 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 to know the other world that they have to interact with. And this is the unique uh, uh, opportunity for Muslims in Singapore yeah. because so we have to learn, we can show the world that as a minority, we can succeed, yeah. we can live together with others, with respect for each other in a very special way that many countries are still trying to find what is the best way they can do.